Vloggers, I'm Catherine Decina Saplin, and today we're talking about culture shock. I have six things for you that when I first moved to France, I thought were just odd and shocking to me because they were so different to what I was used to back home. Number one, if you've ever watched Beauty and the Beast, you know there's this wonderful song that Belle sings while she's walking into town. Bonjour. Bonjour, 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 bonjour. And you have all these people coming out of the woodworks to say bonjour to each other. And that is a thing over here. In France, it's meant to be polite. You're acknowledging that another person exists. And yes, it's really nice. However, they do it with everyone. And I don't, I, I didn't understand this. It was like, why is this person I don't know talking to me? and then just walking away. It was just like, oh, okay, hi, bye. It's not even that I thought it was weird, it was just, it was awkward for me because I wasn't used to talking to people that I didn't know and it was just awkward to say hello to somebody and just walk away from them. We don't talk to people we don't know in America. Number two, cash was always one of those things that I had in my wallet for emergencies. I never used it because I also had a credit card and so if I needed to buy something I would just use the credit card because cash is just, it's annoying, it's chunky, you get coins then you have to like dig through it versus the credit card it's just boop. It was very different coming to Europe and discovering that there were certain places that didn't accept credit card. Number three, the time at which we eat dinner is gonna change from person to person. My family, we were early eaters. Dinner was at four or five. And I don't think I ever had dinner any later than six. And six was like really late. That was- Oh, it's so late, maybe we should eat. Yeah, dinner's not like that in France. At the earliest, starts at 7.30. Holy crap. Did I mention that 7.30 is the earliest? And what makes this like mind-blowing is that dinner in France takes a really, really, really long time to do. Like in America, you get your food, you eat, you're done in 15 to 30 minutes. No, you're at that table for at least an hour, maybe two or three. You have to appreciate your food, guys. Number four. I knew about the cheek kisses before I went to France. However, what they taught us in school didn't match up to how it went down in France at all. Just, they lied. Why? Why did they lie? I was given the impression that when you meet somebody for the first time in France, you normally give them a handshake. And then as the relationship progresses, once you become friends, then you'll start to greet each other with the cheek kisses. So imagine my surprise once I meet somebody, we meet again for the second time and we're already doing cheek kisses. And I was like, whoa, 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 slow down. What, what's going on here? What? As a little side note, I think it'd be very useful if people who do the cheek kisses could have like a number on their forehead to indicate how many cheek kisses they do because it can range from one to four and you just, you never know. You know, person who does one kiss will go in for one and then stop. And then they'll be like, oh, will I do three kisses? Oh, will I do one? And I'm like, oh no, I'll do the three kisses. It's stressful guys. The bizus are freaking stressful. You can't screw up a handshake. You really can't. It's just... Number five, vacation. And if you happen to miss it, I did a whole video discussing vacation. I was so shocked that people not only had two weeks off like every other month, but that they actually went places. That like, that blew my mind. And finally, number six, I think any American who's made a video about a European country will have the shop hours as one of the cultural shocks that they experience. For me, the cultural shock comes from the community of the shops in the towns. For example, when I lived in Chateauneuf-sur-Loire, on our one big road, we had three bakeries and that just, it didn't make any sense to me because I thought surely one of them has to be the best so how are the others staying in business? And it just, I, it didn't make sense to me until 
you account for vacation and hours. I, I don't know if they have like a meeting place where they go and like say, hey, I'm going to be taking this week from this week. When are you guys going to take? Oh, well, since you're taking that week, we'll take this week here. I don't know, but but people get to have lives and I think that's really nice for them. But I still like, it's, it's sort of awkward because I don't think that would work in America because it's capitalistic and you need to make a profit and people don't have lives. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications. All my social links are in the description below. Hey, you can stalk me on Twitter or you could also check out my blog where I write interesting things. Don't miss out guys, check them out. See you guys in the next video. Toot scenes, may apple scenes. So you see all these shadows that are happening behind me? That's because of that light up there. And that light there that I have to have on despite the fact that it's daytime, but it's all cloudy because it's supposed to rain. But it hasn't rained yet, so there's that.